Hi guys, so oh, where to begin? The last video I did for you, I told you that I wanted to go down to two videos a week because I thought three was too stressful, yada, yada, yada. And I knew if I could tell you two, I would get two done every week and that was doable and okay, if you haven't seen the video, go back and watch the video. But here's the funny part. Um, Karma decided to throw a loop on me and give me the flu last week. So here I was promising you guys two videos a week because, oh, I knew I could do that. And it ended up I only did one video because I got the flu. I'm still a little winded. <laughs> um, I'm only on day six of the flu. So right now I'm a little sweaty, even though I'm my fingers are freezing, my feet are freezing. So anyway, my symptoms with the flu were throat irritation. I lost my voice for a couple days. My throat hurt super duper bad. I did not run a fever, um, but these cold sweats are killing me. <laughs> um, exhaustion, and I'm talking exhaustion like when I had mono, like getting up and going to the bathroom. Exhaustion, like stopping to take a deep breath, exhaustion. So my husband's been, um, my husband's been working for, I think, today's his 15th day in a row. I think. I think today's his 15th day in a row. And then he has all week next week. So he's going to be doing a big 21-day stretch. But not only is he working, he's also coming home and helping me with dinner and helping me with the kids because I just, I can't do it. So I had to clean the house this week. It had to get cleaned. I mean, I bleached everything last week from the kids having the flu and now I have the flu so I had to clean again so for this tidy up Tuesday which is what this is I'm just gonna explain to you a little bit about um, what I did with trying to clean as a mom with the flu or just being sick so what I did yesterday was first of all I started a load of laundry always first and foremost start the laundry that way you can keep changing it in and out the rest of the day. Um, secondly, take chunks. So you've seen in my other whole house cleanings where I just go. I just take my cleaning products and I go from room to room and I dust and I vacuum and I clean the bathrooms and I do laundry and I just go full force and sometimes it's three, four hours. I think it took me five hours to clean this house from top to bottom last time. Well, <laughs> that's not gonna happen because um, as you can tell, I'm kind of winded right now just from sitting here talking so much. So um, just take little chunks. So I did my bathroom very slowly. I didn't record because I was doing it so slow. Um, you would have gotten bored even if I sped it up. It was so slow. And then instead of trying to like tackle the shower and the bathtub by leaning over and trying to scrub, what I did was, um, I haven't even done the bathtub because I don't think anybody even used the bathtub this past week. That big jacuzzi tub that I have, I don't think anybody even used it this week. I'm trying to think, I don't think they did. But with the shower, um, we use that you know every day, sometimes two or three times a day, so. With the shower, what I did was I waited until I got in the shower last night and I brought in a cleaning rag and some cleaning soap. And so while I was in the shower, I just slowly, you know, wet the walls clean. Um, and that way I was in there, I wasn't in a rush and I wasn't like trying to lean over and scrub or, it was still exhausting, <laughs> but I at least gave myself um, the ability to not have to like lean over and just be really strenuous. So um, after I cleaned the bathroom, I sat down for a little bit, got myself a big glass of water. Water was really important yesterday while trying to clean, trust me. Um, Hannah's in the background doing yoga. Good for you. And um, so then I got up, I did the bedroom. Um, again, just real slow, kind of moseying around, putting all the dirty clothes where they belong. Um, I didn't strip the bed yesterday because I knew that I wasn't gonna 
be getting that far into the cleaning so I did that this morning but so I cleaned a little bit then and then I you know rested um, came out did portions of the kitchen I didn't tackle the kitchen all at once because it would have just been way too much so I loaded the dishwasher and I turned that on and then rested for a little bit and then came back cleaned the counters off um, there was a big chunk of time that I rested for like two or three hours yesterday afternoon and then about four o'clock, I said, okay, well, you know, I've been resting for a little while. I'm gonna get up and try to do the best I can. Hi, pig. To their pig's cage. So I did the pig cage. And again, that was just real um, slow and easy going. And then um, I vacuumed and I swept and that was really it. Um, you can see the back table behind me. I cleaned it off a little bit. That's just newspaper and a couple of little odds and ends back there, but I'm just going slow. So that's what I'm telling you. If you are sick and you know that you have to get this stuff done, if I didn't clean it all, this house would be trashed because the kids do help. They helped yesterday. I'm not saying that, um, that nothing would get done, you know? The kids helped yesterday, and even if I asked them to do more, they would do more because they're respectful like that. But, um, you know, they're busy too, and especially Hannah has had quite a week with her intestinal issues, so she's really been down and out too. So just go slow. It's going to get done. Um, it doesn't have to all get done at one time, especially if you're in that mindset, oh, I clean once a week, you know, I gotta get it done. Um, you have to remember that your body, when it is exhausted, is telling you something. It's telling you, I need rest. So do little chunks of things. It's like I said when I was doing the pantry. Um, that was just a big project that I was telling you to chunk up, but when it comes to keeping your home clean and sanitized, of course, um, when people are sick, when you are sick. You have to take it easy. It'll still get done. I was surprised I got done as much as I did yesterday because I thought, well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get all this done, but even with that two or three hour rest that I took in the afternoon, most of it still did get done. The only thing I need to do now is um, maybe vacuum my bedroom. Um, there is one bathroom that still needs to be done. I didn't get to that yesterday and that's okay. It's gonna get done today. Today's a new day. And again, since I'm only on day six of the flu, I'm still exhausted and it's still gonna go slow. Um, so don't try to overdo it because you'll set yourself back as far as recovering from your illness. Um, this can go for anything. This can go for surgeries. This can go for the common cold. This can go for, you know, like I have the flu. This can go for anything. This can even go for depression. If you're depressed and you feel like just tacking the whole house is going to set you back, don't do it. You can do a little bit here and there. And I know that I've seen people experience depression. And I know that when you get overwhelmed, your, your brain just shuts it off and says, okay, well, don't do it. Just forget it. Don't do it. Because that's what depression tells you. Just stop and go to sleep because that's the only way to escape your misery, you know? Um, just take little tiny sections of your home. If you wanna, you know, do all the glass, clean all the glass and then take a break. If you want to, you know, dust everything and then take a break. If you wanna take it room by room like I did and then take a break. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to chunk up your home into small, easy tasks and then um, give yourself a break. And like I said, you know, after I, you know, laid around basically for two or three hours yesterday afternoon, I felt like I wanted to get up. And trust me, this whole week I felt like I wanted to get up. I am so bored with laying around and watching Pretty Little Liars on Netflix. I just, seriously, I am. I want to go do stuff. Um, my husband said today that on his way home from work, he would stop at the grocery store. And he said, um, so do you want to get out of the house and go? And I said, well... I could probably go up the road here. It's only like 10 minutes up the road to Safeway, but there's no way I can do a super Walmart. There's no way because I could, first of all, it's 45 minutes up the road. I don't feel like driving all that way. And then the actual 
idea of walking around a super Walmart, it literally is exhausting just thinking about it. So, um, like I said, I do want to get out of the house and I might get out of the house today. It's nice and sunny out. I want to go out and get some vitamin D. <laughs> um, I think that will help a lot. So I might take a walk up the road. I'm not going to take a walk around the block like I normally do, but just slow and easy camo. up the road, not taking camo because she's a puller. Ugh. Yeah. She will pull me. That's exhausting in itself. Um, even on a day where I don't have the flu, she's exhausting to take for a, she's a husky. So she's got to be the lead dog and pull everybody's arms out of socket. Um, so I might do that. But again, these are just some ideas for you. Um, don't overdo it. Don't overwhelm yourself because your brain will tell you to just shut it off and don't do it. Or your body will physically become exhausted if you're physically ill like I am. So that's all I wanted to tell you. I just wanted to give you guys uh, maybe some ideas about how to clean when you're sick, how to keep things up when you're sick. Um, don't push yourself. And um, if you have a loving husband like I do, he'll chip in without even you having to ask. And he did. And I love him so much. But he can only do so much working 15 hours a day and then trying to come home. I, I can't expect him to you know, come home and do the whole day's worth of um, chores. So I had to do a little bit here and there, even on my worst days, which trust me, there were some really bad days. Um, so good luck to you guys. I hope everybody stays healthy. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, like I said, you know, I've seen people experience depression. I personally experienced depression myself. Um, it's hard and it almost feels as if you're physically ill when you're depressed. Um, you can get those symptoms of, you know, body aches and exhaustion and whatever. That's not what this video is about, but I don't want you to feel like you can't ask me because you can. Um, and don't feel, you know, like again, oh, well, I'm sick and so my whole house is gonna fall apart. You can tackle it, but just do it at your own pace. This is not a marathon. You do not have to beat anybody. Um, this is your home and you're taking care of your home. So do it at your pace. So I hope everybody stays healthy. Um, the flu, ugh, I just can't even, this year, I just can't even, I'm disgusted by it. I'm so sick of all of my friends posting that they had the flu. I was sick of seeing it go through my home. I'm just done with the flu. It came out. I have, like, I'm done with it. Throat. Yeah, she ended up with croup. It was bad. If you didn't have strep, you had croup. And I think that's what she ultimately passed to me. But all right, take care, guys. See you next time.